Happy Friday! We are out on Sullivan's Island near Fort Moultrie. Decided to do some deep fishing. Oh, and Greg caught some mullet. We have bait. I was gonna say, I hope you don't have a hard time finding bait, but looks like we got bait. A little bit of bait. We got bait. So now let's catch some fish. Just when we turned the GoPro off, I caught this 18 inch flounder. He's in the cooler right now. It's gonna be some good eating there. Here's some of the cannons here at Fort Moultrie. Let me give you a little bit of information. rods up we decided to go walk on the beach now our car was parked right next to Fort Moultrie so I'll give you all a little glimpse of history the C-17 way in the distance looks like it might be coming this way got the pelicans The C-17's coming this way, but he's up high. Alright. A little bit of a walk, so we'll catch up on the beach. Got the incoming tide. Lots of seagulls. Thought we'd walk on the beach for a little while since we quit fishing. And still got rush hour traffic out there that I want to be a part of. So, give y'all a little bit of beach time. Beautiful day. I think it was like 79 today when we first got here. So, I think it's supposed to be pretty cool tomorrow, but a little bit warmer. tide coming in, all this beach that you see here, um, it's going to be covered in water, so we won't be walking too far. <laughs> Now that 
turn this thing back on when we get around the point. So we're turning the corner from the Charleston Harbor to the front beach of Sullivan's Island. So we got the Atlantic Ocean. And again, it's an incoming tide, so it's um, pretty rough. I think we've had northeast winds all day. I think there was a small craft advisory until tomorrow morning at 8, unless they discontinued it, um, which is why we weren't in the boat today. Decided to beach it instead. That's some pretty good waves. Right there is the north jetty, and over there is the south jetty. It looks pretty rough out there. Glad we didn't go out there today. On this side, there's different sandbars, and I'm not exactly sure where they're at because. Again, we have a boat, so we don't ever really come to the beach to be at the beach. Um, There's a pretty good size wave, so we're coming in. Saw some dolphin out there, but I think they're a little bit too far out for you guys to see. there was a high risk of a rip current. I was actually wanting to see if I could see any while we were up front here. And just a FYI, if y'all are ever in the ocean and you get caught in a rip current, swim parallel to the beach. Don't try to swim to the shore because what a rip current is doing is pulling you out into the ocean. And you, that's why a lot of people drown because they try to get out of it by swimming back to the shore. So swim parallel to the beach until you get, you don't feel the pull anymore. Then you'll be able to get back to the shore. Sullivan's Island Lighthouse over here. Some big waves out there. Must be where one of the sandbars are. Should have come around here during low tide just to get a visual. I'll have to do that one day. Now that tourist season's over with, I can actually come to the beach. Especially during the week. All right, I'll turn this thing back on when we get closer to the lighthouse. Okay, I turned around and I saw the rays coming through the clouds. Isn't that pretty? You can see the clouds and the Sullivan's Island Lighthouse. Looks like it's been weathered. Pretty good. I'm not exactly sure how old it is. Greg, do you know how old it is? Nope. Nope. We don't know how old it is. I'll have Google. to look it up. <laughs> Google it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there it is. So we're going to rest a minute and then um, head back towards the car. Looks like a round house over there. There's a round house at the other end of Sullivan's. They called it the Hurricane House. And it actually made it through Hurricane Hugo. Let's see if we can get over there. 
and take a look at that one. See if I can get a spot in that little tiny parking lot that's over there. Anyway, we're gonna rest a minute, then we're gonna walk back. Okay, we're heading back around the corner into the harbor. Still some pretty big waves there. Beautiful evening. Well, we ended up the fishing day with a keeper trout and the keeper flounder. Um, we did keep our catch some under slot other fish, some flounder, oh, caught a bluefish, which you could have kept, but it's not good eating. At least we don't think so. But um, that's when we decided to just go ahead and pack it up because we got enough for dinner. And, um, hopefully it'll calm down a little bit around this corner here. I'm sure it will. Always does. Just for a little while. You can see the tide still coming in. Greg looked it up. The Sullivan's Island Lighthouse was dedicated in 1962. So, there's the answer to that. For some reason I was thinking it was older than that. But I guess not. Well, I guess since this is 2023, it is considered old now. It's a couple years before I was born. Oh, got another jellyfish. I think this one's even larger than the other one. Yep. It's that time of year. The jellyfish start coming around. Appreciate you guys watching. If you have any ideas what you want us to show on the channel, leave it in the comments. Um, with the weather cooling off, we're hoping to get more like woods, go walking through the forest and doing a few other different types of things like that. So, Y'all have a good weekend. Thanks for tuning in.